will be for all signs. Spirits, what is this reading about? What is this reading going to be about? To be hopefully kind of a short reading. Then I can put the cards on my TikTok or Instagram. Maybe put the longer reading on my YouTube. Spirits, what is this reading about? Okay. You, you know, I just shuffled and a lot of these cards just came out. So we definitely are in a situation where this is this is definitely love because we have the Knight of Cups, which you know it's a very romantic card. Um, this person, you know, might be coming to you with a romantic offer. You know, there's even a letter here. They might be writing you a text or even maybe an you know old-fashioned letter, taking you on a picnic, wanting to take you out and do something romantic with you. With this Seven of Swords, you know, sometimes I think of sneaky energy, but I'm gonna pull some clarifiers on that because it can also be needing to be strategic. And with this particular imagery, I almost, you know, it's almost like he's trying to hunt these crows and I almost sense protection because we also have this Knight of Swords, which I feel like is somebody wanting to rush in, you know, jump on that motorcycle, rush towards you to maybe protect you. And we also have Six of Swords, lots more crows. You know, I think this deck just has a lot of that kind of imagery but this is moving into calmer waters and the crows are the ones actually pulling the boat towards the shore so she definitely looks like she's been through it but you know she's got her baggage and it looks like she's about to arrive it looks like she was a little you know sad or whatever but so I feel like this is some kind of situation you went through with this person Maybe they were sneaky. I don't know. I'm going to get some clarifiers. And we have two of pentacles. So the same, it's like the same girl who was pulling into the shore here is also here balancing out maybe the energy between the, the two of you or balancing something. And she's doing quite well. When I look at this card, I almost see like almost like the sun and the moon, even though it, it doesn't look like that for me, it does because that's very bright and then that's kind of darker. So maybe balancing out that yin and yang energy between the two of you. Hold on one second, please. I'm going to pull some more cards and find out what is going on with the Seven of Swords. Spirit, can you tell me what is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords? That's too many cards. Can you try one, please? You know, I'm gonna shuffle that. What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords, please? Okay, so this is Twin Flame reading, of course. Always with me. Um, it's the Four of Wands out of, you know, this whole deck. Two cards would have told me, you know, totally Twin Flame, and that would be the Lover's card and the Four of Wands. Um, I also see some kind of a hand fasting ceremony going on here. So, you know, it's like a spiritual connection and hand fasting is basically a spiritual marriage. So with the seven of swords, and then we have page of cups that came out with the page of cups. And for this particular page of cups, just this imagery alone, no, there are no other page of cups that, that I know of, but this particular image shows me, you've got this guy here that's like, drinking all the water and then these two people one guy's reaching out or the girl's reaching out like give me some I'm thirsty give me some and it's almost like he wants to protect this girl but there's this other person that's taking you know all of this the emotions out of the situation so I feel like you know you may be somebody like if you're a woman you have two men or vice versa where somebody in your past probably it could be your twin flame or maybe your karmic 
was draining you of all your emotions, all your energy was taking that from you or a situation and your twin flame is like trying to hold you and protect you. So I feel like this is protecting energy. It's kind of this weird reading and I feel like I got this the other day, a very similar message. And so this person here, you know, wants to romance you, wants to protect you and you're gonna be moving into calmer waters with this person and balancing out the energies, you know, and obviously this has to do with your twin flame. So I, I mean, it, it could be the twin flame is the one that was draining you and somebody else is trying to protect you. But let's get some more and try to find out what is going on here. Very similar to a, a reading I did recently. A little bit confusing, kind of, honestly, but it doesn't, it's very different than kind of the twin flame readings that I usually, they kind of seem to all be the same. This is a little different because you got this other person. It's just like they are just hogging the water. The moon is there saying that there are things that need to be revealed, and there will be. The path will be illuminated in the Seven of Swords. Is, I want to say it looks it looks yellow like the sun, but it's actually the moon. So in that one, it's like it's nighttime and he's out hunting. He's got a lot of feathers in his backpack, so hunting these crows, the ravens. And you know, and the crows and ravens and a lot of these imageries are usually kind of like pestering people or attacking people. So he's trying to like hunt down the things that pester you. He's trying to protect you. And I see him running, this other guy trying to run towards his motorcycle and there's a crow up there as well. A lot of crows here, three different cards with the crows. Um, they're all swords, so I guess maybe that particular deck uses crows to represent the mind, because air energy is the mind. So you're moving into calmer waters when it comes to your mind. I mean, this could be you trying to rush, you know, out of the situation, rush. But I think it's them. I think it's it's this divine masculine or masculine person. Well, yeah, we're, it's twin flame reading. So divine masculine that wants to come in romantic. They're trying to protect you from something. Um, spirits, what is this? Who is this page of cups? What is this page of cups? the heck is that? Yeah, so there's somebody in your life who's just like taking all the emotions, not giving you emotions, and there's another person that's there for you, trying to support you, trying to hold you up. So I don't know if the person drinking the water is your karmic or your twin, but there's another person who is, you know, is wanting to protect you, is wanting to be romantic with you, and you're balancing out the energies. Hopefully that's your twin flame. We have Page of Swords. So that typically pages are messengers, and it's of the mind, air energy. Um, this particular imagery, I feel like this Page of Swords, you know, is using their sword either to set boundaries. I don't think it's set boundaries with you, though. I think it's to come in and protect you. I think this is more protector energy. Somebody wants to come in. They've been watching you, checking you out on social media or whatever, and they want to come in with a message and something to do with protecting you. What is this, what is this page of cups? Support you, protect you. Maybe you were in some other kind of relationship where the person was greedy, or maybe that person is their past self. They're wanting to come in different. We have a king of wands. So the king of wands is somebody who is very charismatic, can be a bit of a player, very passionate about you and sexual and everything, but can be a bit of a player. And we also have five of swords. So yeah, you know, you got another person here. This person's tied to the tree. And then this person's over here trying to basically like steal you, like you're asleep or something. Um, and they're trying to win at all costs, but then they kind of realize I haven't won. So I'm just not 100% certain on 
who, you know, which one's the karmic, which one's the true twin flame. We have uh, six of swords. So here's another thing where there's this guy trying to steal you at knife point and you're protected by magic and you've got these swords that are kind of stopping this person from stealing you. So somebody's trying to steal you away. And in, in this cart here, oh, over here, is you. And it's almost like you're guarding a child. So like you're guarding your inner child and this person's trying to, trying to steal you away from somebody. And then we have Ace of Cups. That's this overwhelming emotion coming in. This person feels a lot of love for you. So there's somebody here that feels a lot of love for you and wants to protect you from another person. Wants to, And it's almost like in this picture, this is the guy who cares about you, but this is kind of the trickster who's trying to steal. So you've got two people fighting over you, I feel like. But one's kind of um, a player. He's kind of, he comes off kind of narcissistic. He, I mean, it could be your twin flame and it's it, either it's your karmic and it's your twin flame that wants to come in and, and steal you away and protect you from this karmic or kind of what fits the story of twin flames though is more that your twin flame was in kind of that lower density energy, the ego, pride. And so they acted in bad ways, you know, they acted selfish, narcissistic, selfish, trying to steal all the water when you're down here needing it and this person's trying to support you and give you their emotions, but you're 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 like still reaching up at the at this person here so there's somebody here trying to support you this is probably the soulmate this is probably the twin flame if, if we were going by how these twin flame stories tend to happen because this guy over here to me he doesn't seem i mean he is kind of a casanova maybe um it could be that could mean love bombing i guess but it's knight of cups i don't think so i think the, the, the imagery I get here, I feel like it's it's somebody who does want to romance you, but they do actually care. And they're also kind of wanting to come in, rush in, and save you from whatever this is that's, that's kind of harassing your mind. They want, you know, you to be able to move into calmer waters. They want to help you with that. And again, there's moon here, moon energy, talking about something needs to come to light. Maybe it's this person's feelings. And then there's something about you balancing energy. There's twin flame energy. But then, like I said, we had here where it was like, the moon talks about something needing to be revealed, the path being illuminated. But this person, I just see them as very selfish. They're just hogging all the emotions, not sharing with you. You're reaching up as to say, help me. And then you've got some other person here who's trying to lift you up and take care of you, but you're not reaching towards them. And then we got somebody coming in and wanting to protect you, wanting to be, it's a page of swords, so it's not quite a king. Um, the offer, you know, the message you receive might not be a huge message. It might be um, light and airy. It might not be, you know, huge. But again, we have, then we have the king of wands, all three of these cards. We've got the king of wands, which is this player energy. He's, he's a king, he sits in his power, he's passionate, he's fiery. Uh, could be a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. For me, it's like Leo energy, this King of Wands, because I don't know. Um, but the thing is, he can be a bit of a player. And then, like I said, we've got this person here trying to win at all costs. And we got this other guy who is trying to help you tied to a tree. So he's tried tied this guy to a tree. And he's taking, he's like, there you are kind of floating. You're just passed out or whatever. And then here he is. He's got you in this automobile and he's got you at knife point. He's trying to steal you. So that also speaks of codependency. So that's, you know, this is the twin flame energy that's still in their ego in the runner chaser phase, trying to come in and steal you from maybe, maybe you were with a soulmate and you know, that soulmate was a, a caring, you know, nice person who wanted to take care of you. Not, you know, not as fiery and passionate, but stable and secure and this twin flame is in this kind of you know evil energy really 
I mean, both here, he's trying to steal you here. He's trying to steal you there. But fives do mean a situation can change. And, you know, if we talk about the twin flame journey, we're talking about um, how once you do your shadow work, they then do theirs and they basically evolve. But we also have Ace of Cups, which is, you know, this person, you know, has a lot of love for you. But it's if they're still in this player narcissistic energy, like I said, we did have this Four of Wands, which is saying this is a twin flame reading. So that's what I'm getting so far. I'm going to stop this part of the reading and I'm going to go into an extended to find out what's going to happen in the next six months to a year sooner. What's going to happen with this particular twin flame situation? What's the twin flame going to do? Because I'm assuming that's who you probably, you might love this soulmate. You might, you know, care about the soulmate, but over here, you know, you're reaching up for you're the narcissistic person who's stealing all the emotions. You're like, I'm, I'm starting, you know, I'm thirsty. I need, I need the emotions, but you're not reaching towards this other guy. So like we do have Ace of Cups. So that's a good sign. Cause that's like somebody that has this overwhelming love for you, but we're going to go into this extended and we're going to find out, you know, who is this Ace of Cups? Is this the soulmate or is this the twin flame? We'll find out. Um, again, what's going to happen in the six months to the year or sooner, maybe pull some charms, maybe get some advice cards. Um, before I go, oh, that's another thing I've noticed is we have also have this, that's balancing out energy. So you're definitely balancing out energies between you and your twin flame right now. Um, and you need to meditate. So that's a big, strong, um, message for that. Anyway, before I go, if you could like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff helps me to help others helps me grow my channel and will help you, me to be able to focus in on your energy and future readings and all that good stuff. So um, if by chance you think this reading's for you and you don't, you know, whether you watch the extended or not, you still want to get a personal reading, I'd be glad to do that for you. You can purchase one on my website. The link is, I think there's one in my about section, um, but also it's www.bossasswitch1111.com. That's four ones. That's the only place you can order readings from me. So if anybody ever comes to you um, on the comments of any of my social media, just know that's not me. And on that website, you can also find the links to my TikTok and my Instagram and um, all my links are on there and all my information's on there. So check it out. I'll see you in the extended reading.